today we will talk about carrier transport in nanoscale transistors we will try to differentiate between diffusive transport and ballistic transport in nanoscale transistors i am dr imran khan for more videos and technology updates please subscribe our channel if you have any question related to our video please don't hesitate to contact me the scaling of device technologies pose new challenges in device modeling due to short channel effects and the emergence of new phenomena like ballistic transport ballistic transport implies that the electrons move across the device under the influence of a driving force without experiencing any scattering and collision that impede their motion resulting in higher currents so before going to our main topic i will dis discuss about uh, short channel devices drift diffusion and ballistic transport and then we will uh, uh, go in more details short channel devices as the technology scaling reaches channel length less than 1 uh, micron meter second order effects that were ignored uh, in the long channel uh, devices uh, with channel length greater than 1 micron meter become very important uh, mosfet having uh, channel length less than 1 uh, micron meter are known as short channel devices so there are a lot of uh, second order effects that uh, appear in the short channel devices and also one important thing is the ballistic transport so here if you see uh, here you have a simple mosfet structure here you similarly you have the gate source drain and here this is your channel channel length so here you can see if it is lesser than 1 micron meter uh, this device is known as short channel device so here this l is the channel length and lambda is the electron mean free path so when your uh, channel length is uh, gr uh, greater than the electron mean free path uh, the transport is diffusive transport uh, but when when the channel length is lesser than the electron mean free path the transport is called ballistic transport and uh, when the channel length is uh, approximately equal to uh, the electron mean free path the device operate in the regime uh, of transition known as quasi ballistic carrier drift the process in which charged particles move because of an electric field is called drift charged particles within a semiconductor move within average velocity proportional to the electric field so here you can see that so you have uh, a semiconductor here and you have applied some voltage and uh, you can see the carrier movement uh, so it's a zigzag type of movement so um, here uh, this vh is basically whole velocity and uh, this is equal to uh, mu p e so what is this mu e uh, mu p uh, this mu p is whole mobility and uh, similarly this is uh, the electron velocity and uh, this uh, mu n is uh, electron mobility so you can see here so carrier diffusion so here you can see uh, in the diffusion basically uh, the carrier uh, moves um, from higher concentration to the lower concentration so here in the figure you can see it's a higher concentration and uh, the carriers are moving from higher concentration to lower concentration so similarly uh, if we look on the definition so due to uh, thermally induced random motion mobile particles tend to move Uh, from a regime of higher concentration to uh, uh, the region of uh, low concentration so similarly current flow due to the mobile uh, charge diffusion is proportional to um, carrier concentration gradient so here you can see this uh, carrier concentration gradient and uh, your dp is basically diffusion constant so this is your uh, uh, carrier diffusion this uh, and uh, this is the equation so here uh, you can see uh, the diffusion examples so here you have uh, 
the linear concentration profile and here you have this non-linear uh, uh, concentration profile or exponentially uh, decaying profile so uh, this is uh, uh, basically uh, the profile uh, this is linear profile and here you can see the equation and for uh, exponentially decaying or non-linear profile so here you can see the function and uh, uh, you uh, want to uh, basically compute uh, uh, the GAP diffusion so here uh, uh, this is the equation for uh, the diffusion and uh, uh, you just put uh, this value here and uh, you know, differentiate and uh, you get the answer and similarly uh, for uh, uh, the decaying function you can also compute uh, the diffusion uh, basically and uh, you can uh, here you will get the answer uh, so diffusion current diffusion current uh, as you know that uh, the carrier moves from higher concentration to the lower concentration so similarly here you have this higher concentrations and here you have this lower concentration so this is uh, the direction of uh, uh, diffusion current uh, basically the carriers are moving from higher concentration to the lower concentration so diffusion current diffusion current within semiconductor consists of holes and electrons components so this uh, jp diffusion so here you can see the equation jn diffusion and your total current is uh, jp diffusion plus jn diffusion and uh, this is uh, the total diffusion current and if you want to calculate uh, the total current flowing into the semiconductor then it is the sum of total uh, uh, current is the sum of uh, drift currents and the diffusion currents of holes and electrons so here you can see the total current is equal to jp uh, drift plus uh, jn drift and the, here you have this jp uh, diffusion plus jn diffusion this p is basically holes and n is the electrons so this is how you can uh, uh, compute uh, the diffusion current and uh, the total current uh, in the semiconductor the total current is obviously the sum of the drift currents and um, diffusion currents uh, of this uh, holes and the electrons so in the equilibrium so if you talk about the equilibrium then uh, the total current is zero so in equilibrium the drift and diffusion components of uh, uh, current are balanced therefore the net current flowing across the junction is zero so here you can see this um, jp drift uh, should be equal to this uh, uh, jp diffusion this uh, jp diffusion means this uh, diffusion current and jp drift means this uh, this is drift current so here you can see uh, calculate uh, the total current in equilibrium which should be equal to zero so now we will talk about uh, uh, this uh, uh, ballistic transport so due to scaling of MOS transistors and the MOS devices structures are uh, getting smaller and complicated day by day novel MOS devices are operating near ballistic limits and the modeling of ballistic transport is an essential element for device researchers nowadays MOS devices with effective channel length smaller than uh, 25 nanometer exhibit high percentage of ballistic transport ballistic transport is the direct movement of electrons in short uh, distance channel where regular scattering is negligible in this case the carrier movement between the source and drain is uh, free from scattering and uh, uh, collision events ballistic transport is observed when the dimensions of the uh, medium through which electron travel are uh, comparably smaller than the carrier mean free path for the transport uh, with collision and scattering so here you can see uh, this is your uh, uh, short channel device and the, here it is exhibiting uh, this uh, uh, ballistic transport because there is no scattering no collision and this is the long uh, channel device so it is uh, showing this uh, drift diffusion transport because and uh, here you can see uh, the lot of collisions and scattering here 
Uh, so for uh, for the short channel devices, you cannot deploy this uh, uh, direct diffusion transport equations. So uh, we will talk uh, about uh, how we can calculate this. Uh, a ballistic transport uh, how we can model it we will uh, talk in, in the next slides so uh, basically this ballistic transport is the direct movement of electrons in short distance channel where uh, the regular scattering is negligible so in case of your diff diffusive transport the electron is injected into the channel and it gets a little way and then scatters loses some energy and keeps heading towards the drain so this is uh, uh, the mechanism of uh, operation of this uh, uh, long channel and uh, short channel devices. Uh, so here you can see um, when the channel length, uh, when uh, your uh, channel length is uh, lesser than the electron mean free path, the transport is ballistic. But when the channel length is greater than uh, the electron mean free path the transport is diffusive transport so here you can see the uh, this is basically the energy position diagram so here you can see this is uh, the top of the barrier and uh, here uh, from um, uh, basically you can see the direct movement from drain to source here this is the direct movement so uh, there is no scattering no collision but in case of diffusive uh, transport uh, so this is a zigzag type of motion so you, here you can see a lot of scattering and collisions so uh, basically in diffusive transport electrons move in uh, zigzag path but in ballistic transport they move in direct path so uh, formation of uh, Boltzmann uh, transport equation and uh, non equilibrium uh, green functions so the fundamental equation of semi-classical transport is the Bolt Boltzmann transport equation a common transport model uh, which can easily be derived from Boltzmann, uh, transport, Boltzmann transport equation is the diff diffusion, uh, diffusion model uh, which is the workhorse of today's uh, TCAT tools whoever driven by Morris law the device dimensions of modern semiconductor decrease into deca nanometer regime following that the direct diffusion model get more and more inaccurate so the non equilibrium green function negfn uh, is a powerful method to, to handle open quantum systems uh, the method can be used both in ballistic and scattering dominated regime if the mean free path of carrier is smaller than the device size uh, the system is in scattering uh, dominated regime while if the mean free path is longer than uh, the device the system can be described uh, ballistically so here uh, this uh, formation of this uh, Bowles transport equation and uh, this non equilibrium green function uh, so here we will combine this mechanics and thermodynamics together so here uh, uh, we will uh, drive this uh, Boltz transport equation uh, Boltzmann transport e equation and this non equilibrium green function so this Boltz uh, transport equation uh, Boltzmann transport equation derived from uh, this uh, Newton's law plus uh, some thermodynamics because you know that the carrier um, uh, we, we are talking about the carrier and the uh, we want to model uh, the ballistic transport in nanoscale transistor and uh, there we have uh, some uh, energy dissipation so uh, because of that we need some thermodynamics so similarly this non equilibrium green function was uh, de derived from this Schrodinger's equation plus some thermodynamics so uh, so we have combined this uh, mechanics and thermodynamics to obtain our Boltz trans Boltzmann transporting equation and uh, non-equilibrium green function so this non-equilibrium green function uh, is used to uh, compute uh, uh, ballistic transport in nanoscale transistors so here uh, this is uh, the ballistic MOSFET and uh, the generic model 
so here you can see uh, these are uh, uh, the drain and the source terminals of uh, uh, a MOSFET and here you can see this is the top of the barrier energy band uh, diagram uh, uh, this energy band diagram shows a potential energy barrier between the source drain and the channel so here you can see this uh, potential barrier uh, we can uh, move uh, top of the barrier up and down yeah you can apply this uh, uh, gate voltage and the uh, drain voltage to move this uh, um, uh, 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 barrier up or down so you know that uh, the source and drains are heavily doped 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 region with lot of scattering and are uh, thermal equilibrium reservoirs with well uh, uh, defined fermi levels so here you can see this is uh, the gate terminal and here you have this drain and uh, source terminals so here you can see uh, this is uh, basically uh, the top of uh, the this is the barrier between uh, drain and source and this is the channel region and here you can see uh, this is basically the top of the barrier and these are uh, the energy position diagram and uh, here you can see the MOSFET in equilibrium I drain and uh, gate pies so for MOSFET in equilibrium ID is equal to zero um, for high drain and gate bias ID is greater than zero so here uh, the barrier and Fermi levels can be moved up and down by applying high gate and drain voltage so uh, this is your uh, MOSFET is in equilibrium and uh, uh, this here you have this ID is equal to zero and you can also um, move your uh, top of the uh, top of this uh, barrier up or uh, down by applying uh, gate and uh, drain uh, uh, basically voltages uh, so here uh, you can see so these are uh, the two potentials here here and here so this is your drain and the source potential and uh, you apply the voltage at the gate and control you control the current between the drain and the source terminals so here uh, you can see the scenario and transmission uh, in the ballistic MOSFET so if the electron has energy uh, above the top of the barrier it will uh, transmit perfectly so here you can see this is the energy position diagram if uh, the energy of your electron is uh, uh, up then the bar barrier it will easily be transmitted so uh, this was the lecture for today if you have any question please feel free to contact me uh, thank you very much for today see you next time